when does it or do you still give them the beats in there when oh, you're no, no, i still yeah. get it you know i still get it i you know i was world champion you know yeah. but it's just that sometimes i feel like i'm more sore and if i do something like a very hard training the next morning i wake up i'm like damn i'm like i didn't feel like that before you know or some little injuries that happened that you that did not happen when you when i was younger yeah is there like a when you retire from ufc or from mma is there like a sort of relief mentally that you have Oh, absolutely. I uh, I never liked to fight. I uh, <laughs> People, sometimes they don't believe me when I say this, but that's the truth. I never liked it. I never enjoyed it. I did it because I wanted to use that to propel myself where, where I wanted to be in life. I wanted to have the freedom. I was. I feel like I was just very lucky and fortunate to f- found what I was good at and I exploited it and I worked really hard. I love to train. I love martial art. I love the science of it. To come here with the camaraderie of my friend. I love that lifestyle too. It gives me confidence. But to not to compete and not knowing if I will be hurt, humiliated or, or you know, winning the fight, for me, it's unbearable. It is very hard. So, and that's what I didn't like about that lifestyle. When I was young, I, I didn't know what I wanted to do. And, and I remember when I was a kid, like I was a very young kid. I was like maybe 12 years old, 11 years old. Like the teacher was asking everybody in the class, what do you want to do for, when you get older? And uh, some were like, oh, I want to be an engineer, yeah, whatever, a doctor or whatever. And, and when they came to me, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. And I said, I wanted to be a WWE wrestler because <laughs> <laughs> I was a fan of Hulk Hogan because MMA did not exist at the time yeah. when I was that young. Uh, it, 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 it happened be- after. So, and everybody started laughing. Like they were all laughing. And obviously I'm not, I don't have the physique to be a WWE wrestler. Now it changed. Now it's different than it used to be, but they used to be only huge. like big, huge guys, you know? So uh, I didn't have the, the physique to become one of them. But I, when I saw the first UFC, when Royce Gracie won the first UFC, that's when I knew, I was like, that's what I want to do. You know, like that's, I see myself in this, you know, and I was at school at the time. I didn't know what I, what I wanted to do. I tried many different things. I was studying in aer- aeronautic, you know, like an airplane to repair airplane. Mm. But then the tower f- felt the industry crash and I changed. I, w- I went to do a fire, to be a, become a fireman. I was accepted. I did all the physical. I was accepted at school, but I received a letter from the fireman school saying, oh, we can accept you. However, you don't, you're not going to, uh, have the uh, the standard of the of the city to work because you have a, a you can't remember which of my vertebrae is off by some millimeter, oh. and now I'm thinking about it. I'm like, no, I can be world champion in mixed martial art, but I cannot I be become a fireman. a fireman. It's kind of stupid. That's weird. But you know, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was at school studying, uh, but I really didn't know what I wanted to do, and. At the time when I start mixed martial art, it was not something that you could do and make a living, you know, like the, everybody was broke. And, but I always have faith that at one point the sport could grow to a certain level that you can, you can make it. And I was lucky. I worked really hard and it happened.